Good day. So in today's topic, uh, we will be discussing about research frameworks. So what is research frameworks? So it provides an underlying structure or model to support our collective research efforts. So it intends to serve as a support or a guide to build diba? and expand the structure of our research. So, mahalaga tong um, frameworks na to para malaman natin kung alin ba yung flow at how can the variables interrelated to each other. So, without this uh, structure, uh, without this framework, then magulo yung structure and hindi natin mapagkoconekonekta yung mga um, variables and other parts of the researches. So, see this framework as a scaffold or as a skeleton that connects all the joints. And these joints are the variables. Research comes in many different shapes and sizes. It's variable in scope and can be used to answer all manner of questions across all aspects of education including administration, management, pedagogy, instruction, and assessment, etc. So, ang researches, guys, have many different forms and napakalawak ng research. So, it comes in different sizes, meaning pwedeng maikli or short term or long term yung research. Pwede namang ang, kinu ang hinahanap lang ay yung survey diba? Survey data or may interview pa may scores diba? May kinukuha pa yung experiences or observations yon kaya humahaba yon at nag-iiba yung structure niya. At minsan naman, sa loob lang ng classroom yung scope, pero may times naman na buong division or buong bansa yung scope. May times na test score lang yung scope, pero may times na mas marami pa yung scope. Okay. So, at ang malaga doon, hindi lang iisa yung pwedeng i-research. Almost everything in education can be researched. So, why is research framework important? As above, if framework helps us to determine based on what we're trying to learn, the right approach and methods to apply in a given situation. Actually, when we are dealing or when we are crafting the conceptual and theoretical frameworks, dito natin malalaman on what diba, to research, on how the research will move forward, will progress, on what the research, on what theories diba, or concepts governs our study. And uh, kapag nalaman na natin on what theories and concepts yung um, nag-govern in our study, mas ma-identify natin what approach or methods that should we use. So, it also helps to structure and plan our research activities according to the breadth and scope of what we are trying to learn. And if we knew on what methods and approaches, diba? Alam na natin, malalaman natin, ano ba yung itsura, magiging itsura, diba? Ng research natin. And ma-identify natin, ma-determine natin what could be the scope the limitations diba, of our study and that is very important 
So later on, madidiscuss natin on how. But it is closely related also to conceptual paradigm. As you start reading literature, you will soon discover that the problem you wish to investigate has its roots in a number of theories, concepts that have been developed from various perspectives. Kaya napakahalaga ang pagbabasa ng related literature and studies. Kasi dito mo lang malalaman what are the missing links, the knowledge gaps, the main problem, the minor problems in the study that you are intended uh, to do, uh, to craft. Kaya, hindi kayo makakapag-craft uh, ng framework without reading literatures. So, it is the first thing to do talaga. So, there are two frameworks that could be found in research. So, first is theoretical framework. So, it is founded on the theories already developed over an area over a long period of time, having a robust historical background. So, if our study has a theoretical framework, meaning that it is anchored in a theory, and your study have been, di ba? Um, the variables of your study have been proven, and it is anchored to something that is researched or practiced long ago. So, it is not exploratory at all because it already existed. You are just expanding the knowledge based on the current variables that you are working on. So, theoretical framework in a study is based on an existing theory or theories. So, there are numerous theories. So, we have theory of motivation, we have learning theory, we have administrative theories, the performance theories, and others. So, an example is constructivism, the, or the psychoanalytic theory. Yun, pwede yun mag-govern sa research that we could work on. Next is conceptual framework. The fundamental concepts that characterize and delineate the study variables are presented to establish an informed understanding of the study. So, in crafting the conceptual framework, it does not necessarily mean na yung study na ginagawa natin have a long history of practices of other studies, di ba? So, it could, uh, the studies could be exploratory, non-existent at all, and you are just putting the concepts that you have learned into one para mabuo mo yung study na gusto mo, that you are intended to do. So, meaning that uh, if your study is exploratory or does not have or are not proven before, di ba? have not related studies before, then you could use this framework because you are putting um, non-related concepts into one. You, uh, you relate it yourself diba? para maging isang buong konsepto siya. The conceptual framework is something you can develop yourself based on the theories. So you inevitably would use some concept that this particular theory operates with. So in making a conceptual framework as well, um, you could also use the theories. But not the whole theory itself, just part of it. And you will integrate it with other theories or concepts. 
So that is entirely different from theoretical. Sa theoretical kasi yung buong theory, 'di ba? Yung gagamitin mo. But in conceptual, yung part of just theory yung gagamitin mo to integrate with others to make a whole new concept. So, what are the differences between a theoretical and conceptual framework? So, according to Dr. Said Hafez Ahmad, 2019. First, theoretical, it provides the blueprint for the research inquiry and serves as the guide on which to build and support the entire study. So, dito sa theoretical, guys, Yung theory na yon, yung pinaka-plan, pinaka-blueprint na susundan when creating or developing the study. So, doon lang siya magbe-base sa existent plan, existent blueprint. And that blueprint is the theory. For example, our work, the theory na gagamitin natin ay psychosexual. Then the whole study is all only based on psychosexual. That is theoretical framework. Next, in conceptual naman, it provides a model explicating what the researcher intends to study. So, here in conceptual, the researcher will make a model out of different concepts or out of the parts of the theories na integrate nila sa isa't isa. Integrate ni researcher sa isa't isa. Then, if he already made that model, di ba, doon na siya magbabasi on what the researcher intends to do. So, anong difference nun? Sa theoretical kasi, dahil may blueprint na, limited na yung uh, mangyayari uh, limited na yung output ni research, kumbaga doon lang nakabase sa theory sa limitations ng theory pero sa conceptual kasi kung alin yung gustong mangyari maging outcome ni researcher, ayun yung gagawin niyang model next theoretical, it used to be based on the existing theory duly tested and validated by other researchers. So, in theoretical, the theories have been validated way before diba? you conducted your study. So, if you follow the limitations, the, the practices, or the culture behind the theory, diba? then your study is partially validated na kasi nagamit na yun before napatunayan na yun before and you are just using it in the variables existent sa yo existent sa situation mo ngayon pero dati na yang nagawa okay. may mga related and proven studies na behind that Ganon pag-theoretical. Pero sa conceptual naman, it used to be grounded in the concepts that provide for the main variables in a research inquiry. This is something that research scholars develop themselves based on the theories. Here, you will start from scratch. Diba? You will start from zero. From the ground. Then you will build a plan, you will build a structure starting from that. So, in conceptual, gumawa ka ng sarili mong concepts which are not validated, explored, and uh, has no related, much related proven studies before. So, yun yung kaibahan nila.
So in theoretical, it needs to be well developed, designed, and widely accepted. So it is given na because it is based from a theory. Diba? But in conceptual, it needs not widely accepted for being researchers' own answer to the research problem they defined. So that is the difference between the two. So in, lastly, in theoretical framework, it provides for broader guidelines or general set of ideas within which a research study can be fit in. Dahil nga, uh, the researcher follows a theory. Diba? So, there are numerous researches that are linked to these theories. And these researches na na-publish are already proven. So, the researcher can use, diba? can adapt the methods, the, pro the questions, diba? the approaches, the data collection, the flow of those researches that are linked to the theory. But in conceptual framework, so it relates to specific ideas the scholars use in their research studies. Dahil nga, um, the conceptual is a researcher's work only. So, hindi to proven, hindi to accepted before, and wala tong much related studies. Kasi nga, napakabago eh. Kasi si researcher lang ang bumuo nun. Question. So, pwede bang conceptual at theoretical framework ay sabay na gamitin in the study? So, yes, there are cases na sabay silang ginagamit. Diba? May, yung researcher ay nagde-develop ng theoretical framework which governs the study and bumubuo rin ng conceptual framework which is mi makes the study new. Even though May theory na nag-govern, pero yung study ay napakabago pa rin. Diba? Kasi hindi niya ginamit yung mga um, dati ng nagawa, dati ng approaches and uh, methods and collections and questionnaires na related or linked sa theory na yun na na-publish before. So, even though may nag-govern na theory, he makes his own study and the variables are new. But in, pwede naman, iisa lang yung gamitin natin sa study. Kung theoretical framework lang or conceptual framework lang, pwede ka mamili doon. So, kapag theoretical framework lang, then um you uh the theory governs your study and you will use the proven the um methods you will adapt proven methods or questions or problems that are related to that theory Okay. So, kapag conceptual naman, then you will not use um, one whole theory. So, you could only use uh, excerpts of that theory and you will integrate it with the other theories or with the other concepts. And the study is entirely new talaga. And that is conceptual. So, yun. So, these are the references of these presentations. So, some of the explanations that I have stated is based from these references. But, um, most of the explanations and discussions that I have given, although based from what is presented, but it is based from the experiences that I have gathered and acquired due to my uh, years of writing. 
also the graphics that I have used in my study are not mine so it is just for educational purposes only